most titanium mine near Georgia's Okefenokee Swamp, it's now hit a critical point. Atlanta News first reporter Abby Kasuris uncovers how an outpouring of letters and public support from a big celebrity could finally stop the project. The Environmental Protection Division in Georgia could still make changes to the permit drafts. They shared those drafts with us months ago, and because of public outrage, they extended the public comment section until Tuesday. So far, they've heard from 74,000 people. You'll never see a sky like you see the sky in the Okefenokee. They call it like a cathedral, a floating cathedral, where you know, the reflection where it's just very reflective, very peaceful. So Some of those comments came from Austin Russell's high school environmental science class. His Okefenokee lesson included a field trip to show his students about the wildlife, waterways, and wonder of the more than 400,000 acres. To see light bulb moment, grasp onto something that they're interested about or a care or a cause. The unique habitat protects endangered species, and now the students want to protect it. They've been to the state capitol urging lawmakers to pass a bill banning mining in the swamp. The bill didn't make it through, but they're not giving up and still pushing for protection. Twin Pines website states that they're willing to invest more than $300 million, and the permits would allow them to excavate a total of 600 acres, adding 400 good-paying jobs to the area. But people against mining like Rena Peck with Georgia River Network are here at the state capitol. With her gator and sign in tow, she's sharing research with lawmakers that mining could threaten the swamp's water levels, increase wildfire risks, and harm wildlife. What we're doing is disrespecting Georgians and disrespecting our wilderness. We're giving undue respect to an out-of-state mining company with a poor track record. And there is momentum behind her, some big names like celebrities, including Leonardo DiCaprio, all wanting to protect the swamp. She's gotten the attention of Speaker of the House John Burns, who says protecting the Okefenokee Swamp is his top priority next year. In the meantime, the permitting decision is still up to Georgia Environmental Protection Division. They say the cutoff for public comment is at 4.30 in the afternoon on Tuesday. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Kasoris.